In Matthew 21, that chapter, verse 19, the Bible said when Jesus Christ went and saw a fig tree, he expected figs to be on that tree. But when he came there, Matthew 21, 19, he came there, he saw leaves only, and the Bible said he cursed the tree. And it withered away because there was no figs on that tree. My friend, the Bible says, if they don't bear no fruit, gather them up and cast them into the fire. My friend, the Bible says, glory to God. Hallelujah. Romans 8, 28. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Why God curse the fixed tree? Why God cursed the fig tree because the, cur the fig tree didn't bring God no honor. My friend, a tree is all to bear fruit for people to pick the fruit and eat it. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. That means that, my friend, your life is to glorify God. When the last time you say hallelujah? When the last time you say glory? Thank you, Jesus. When the last time you got on your, your knees and say, Lord, help me, please? When the last time, my friend, you lift your hand and say, glory, hallelujah. When the last time, my friend, we was made to glorify God. Hallelujah. We was made, glory to God, to produce for God. Hey, glory to God. God made every one of us with a purpose, with a plan to be in his present. Hey, glory to God. God cursed that fig tree because a fig tree didn't bear no figs on it. And if you are a person, my friend, you say you have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You say you have the Holy Ghost, but you shout. You say you have the Holy Ghost, but you speak in tongue. You say you have the Holy Ghost, my friend, and you carry a Bible, but that's not good enough my friend because everybody can shout everybody can speak in tongue but guess what everybody don't love don't love everybody don't have joy everybody don't have long suffering everybody don't have glory to god gentleness and goodness and and faith and and temperance which is self-control my friend those are the now fruit of the spirit so i'm saying to you my friend why god curse the fig tree. The reason why God cursed the fig tree because the fig tree it was useless. The fig tree, glory to God, didn't produce nothing. Hey, glory to God. That's like a person that calls himself a Christian and you are not a witnesser. You are not a glorifier. You are not telling people that the wage of sin is death and the gift of God, eternal life through Jesus Christ. You are living on this earth, my friend. You are living for you. It's no time to live for you. It's time to live for God. Hey, glory to God. Why God? Huh? Oh, glory to God. Cast huh? a curse the fig tree. My friend, glory to God. God cursed the fig tree because a fig tree was not producing. Hallelujah. He said, gather them and cast them in the fire. Hey, glory to God. The Bible said, by the fruit you should know. How do you know a Christian, my friend? You know a Christian by the fruit they are producing. Fruit can mean two things. Fruit can be witnessing. Fruit can be glory to God. You got a nine fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And the first one is love. Hey, glory to God. What I say? The first one is L-O-V-E, love. <laughs> glory to God. Love is compassion. Love is care. Love is concern, my friend. Love, glory to God. You're not critical. you concern. And next one is joy. Hey, glory to God. How much joy do you have in your life? Do you have more misery than joy? Hey, glory to God. Do you have more happiness than sadness? Amen. I'm talking about the nine fruit of the Spirit. And one of the fruit that people miss out on is self-control. We got to have self-control, my friend. Self-control is sex. Ha, glory to God. You ain't, control, you, ain't, you, ain't con you ain't controlling your loins. What I say? You ain't controlling your loins. The Bible say, Paul say, glory to God, put on a belt of truth. The belt of truth protect your loins. Some of us, my friend, glory to God, we can't control our body parts. Our body parts control us. That's self-control and goodness. Oh, glory to God. We don't have no goodness. We got meanness. We are evil. We are nasty. Christians are not to be nasty. We are not to be mean, my friend. I know the Bible says be angry and sin not. Yeah, but if you are angry, you don't cuss nobody out. You are angry. You don't want to give people a piece of your mind. You want to put up your dukes and say, I'm going to fight you. No, my friend, because you are Christian. You are changed. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Be angry, but cuss not. Be angry, 
Hallelujah. And and don't give people your peace of your mind. You need your whole mind. I need my whole mind. Oh, glory to God. But, but the Bible say he cursed the fig tree. Is God going to curse you? Huh, what's your purpose, my friend? What's your plan? You can't say, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm the God that's built me. No, my friend. A car is a car because he's driven. A water is a water because it flows. A bird is a bird because it sings and it flies. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Everything have a purpose. What's your purpose? Well, I say, what's your purpose, my friend? Every one of us should have a purpose. My purpose is to tell the, my purpose is to talk. My purpose is to tell people about the goodness of God. My purpose is to tell what's going on in your life. That's my purpose. My purpose is that I'm a mouthpiece for God. Hey, glory to God and not for the devil. What's your purpose? God curse the fig tree. Hey, glory to God. What the Bible say? The Bible say, my friend, he say, no fourth, hallelujah, fruit going to grow on this tree. That means God curse it. And the Bible say, it withered away. What's your purpose? Some people, my friend, think their purpose is to breed. Some people think their purpose is to be baby, be, 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 be baby makers. Some people think their purpose, according to God, is going to God to be a drunk, or to be a a, a wine or or to be a person that's on a, a drug addicted or a prostitute. No, that's not your purpose. That's the purpose that devil told you are. The Bible says you are fearful and you're wonderfully made. You are not no trash. You are a treasure. You're not no junk. You are Jew. You're not no. No, no, no dumpster, you're a diamond. What's your purpose? Hey, glory to God. You gotta find your place in God. The, 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 the church, the driven church. You gotta be driven. The purpose driven church. God save us for a purpose. God ain't save you to stay home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your man might left you. Your husband might left you. Your wife might left you, my friend. But God made you, us, every one of us with a purpose. God gave talent out. And the Bible says one man had one talent and he put it and hit it in the ground. But God took his talent and gave the ten person to have ten talents. Hey, Lord, what I'm saying, my, my, what I'm saying to you and watching my video, my friend, we all have a purpose. But you got to find your place in God. Hey, you can't be like somebody else. That's why I'm never trying to be like Noel Jones. I'm never trying to be like my pastor. I'm never trying to be like nobody. Because every one of us was created different. We got different fingerprint, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to sing glory to God like a mockingbird or trying to be like somebody else. I'm trying to be what God tell me to be. God tell me to be not like Noel Jones, not like Michael Roger, not my friend. God told me to be me. Hey, glory to God. And a lot of y'all, y'all trying to be somebody which you should not be you are cheating yourself from your greatness but God is so merciful who oh, I say God is so merciful every one of us are hallelujah God made us to be something my friend God made you be a teacher why you're not teaching God made you to be a writer why you're not writing those books my friend God make you be a doctor why you're not hallelujah practicing medicine God made you oh, God, to be a judge why you're not judging righteously God made you be a lawyer, not a liar. Hey, glory to God. We all have a purpose. So God curse that fig tree that was not producing. God save you. What you have done since God said, what you have done for God lately. Yeah, what you have done for God lately. Come on now, talk to me. What have you done for God lately? You want God to do so much for you, but you won't do nothing for God. You ain't going out to witness. You ain't going to feed the hungry. You ain't going to, to clothe the naked. You ain't doing nothing, my friend, but, but, but fill up the space, my friend. You good for nothing. Hallelujah. But you got to be good for something, my friend. Hey, Amen. What's your purpose? The Bible said, all things work together for good to them that love God, I pray you'll love God because if you love God, He will show you a purpose. My purpose in here, going to God, is to be a preacher. My purpose, my friend, is to be a prophet. My purpose, my friend, to bring forth the word of God. That's my purpose. What's your purpose? 
Can, can we talk? Hey, glory to God. What's your purpose? Hallelujah. I have time. Hey, glory to God. Hey, man, you find, how you find your purpose? You find your purpose. What you love to do, my friend? I love to talk. I love to read. I love to mingle with people, my friend, because I'm a people person, my friend. Hey, glory to God. What's your purpose? You can't say nothing because God don't make nothing. Even the dirt got a purpose. It made man. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. If the rib got purpose, he made woman. But see the tree behind me? Hey, glory to God. The tree got a purpose. It helped us breathe and it make money. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What's your purpose? The moon got a purpose. The moon glows at night. The sun got a purpose. It produced food. The rain got a purpose. It, it bring forth the fruit. The winter. Hey, glory to God. It Kill the germs. What's your purpose in life? Your purpose is not to lay and have babies. <laughs> your purpose is not to stay home and watch the television all day. Your purpose is not to be on Facebook all day, Instagram all day, read everybody text all day. No, that's not your purpose. Hey man, come on. My wife's purpose is, be, is to be a housewife, and she's very creative. Hey man, what's your purpose? You can't say nothing because God made you for the tree behind me. It got a purpose because the Bible say, hallelujah, he cursed the fig tree that did not produce no fruit. Read it. Read it, my friend. Hallelujah. And I put it, go to the on my description bar that uh, this, the Bible says slowfulness, decay. Hallelujah. When you're slowful, it brings forth it bring for weed, my friend. Through idleness, a house dropping through. You know why the house dropping through? Because the house, glory to God, did not produce by taking care of the house. If you don't take care of the house, my friend, roaches going to come, rat going to come, mold going to come. And soon or later, my friend, those things going to kill you. Hey, glory to God, you going to eat roach in your food. Hey, rat going to take charge. What do you think rats in people's houses? What do you think roaches in people's house? Because they don't take care of the house. Hey, go to God. Hallelujah. Hey, man. What's your purpose? Excuse me. What's your purpose, young lady? Hey, hey. Your purpose is not to be a whore. But your purpose is to be wonderful. Your purpose is not to be a pimp. Your purpose is to be a person of integrity. Your purpose is not to go to God, swindle girls. That's not your purpose. And we gotta stop listening to the devil. Say the devil say you ain't nothing. You don't grow up to be nothing. I remember when I was young, glory to God. My father always say, boy, you ain't gonna be nothing. Oh, glory to God. My father died when I graduated from CBI. What my father did? My father died before I graduated from CBI. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. What I'm saying to you, my friend, don't listen to your parents. Your parents say you ain't gonna be nothing in life. Prove your parents wrong. Hey, glory to God, because God don't make junk, we become junky. How you become junky? By getting on, glory to smoking you, smoking yourself to death, drinking yourself to death, sexing yourself to death. Hey, glory to God, God don't make junk, my friend. We become junky. You ain't come out your mother's womb with a bottle in your hand. You ain't come out your mother's womb with a, with, a, with a spiff in your hand. I say, no, my friend, no. Glory to God. God made you in his image. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And I come and tell somebody out there, my friend, stop listening to the negative people saying that God made you junky. No, he didn't. The devil lied to you. The devil told Eve, Eve, if you eat the food, you be like God's knowing good and evil. And Eve said, for real? And she picked the food. And when you pick the food, my friend, the Bible said her eyes were open. And the Bible said, who told you your eyes were was open. Hey, go to God. Come and tell somebody right now. My friend, stop listening to the devil. Stop listening to the world. And stop listening to people. But listen to the word of God. Hey, man. What I'm saying to you right now is listen to me. God curse the fig tree. And the reason why God cursed the fig tree because the fig tree didn't produce no fruit. What fruit have you produced for God lately? Hey man, come on now. God didn't save you to, to shout and speak in tongues and go home and get sweat and change your clothes. But God saved you to produce. God saved you to be a witness. That's why I preached a message yesterday, my friend. Hey, go to God, witness effectively. What's your purpose in life?
God made every one of us with a purpose, with a plan to be in his present. Hashaba. That's why there's a crown going to be in heaven. And if you ain't fit, my friend, you're going to go to heaven and don't receive no crown. Hallelujah. I don't want to lose my crown. The Bible says, Paul said, who hinder you that you should not go to God? My friend, you can't blame people. Who hinder you? Don't let nobody hinder you from receiving your crown. Amen. Glory to God. He cursed the fig tree. Yes, it's cursed. He cursed it. He cursed it. You weren't producing no fruit. He cursed it. He said, no, never man eat from this tree. And he cursed it. And Jesus Christ told, they say, Lord, you cursed the fig tree. Yes, he wasn't producing no fruit. Why have, a, why have a tree that don't produce no fruit in your yard? It is holding space up. Cut it down and, and, and let somebody else, let another tree grow there. So then what God going to do to some of y'all, God going to cut you down because you ain't producing nothing in this world. You just a, you're a lazy trifling saint. Hey, glory to God. It's time to produce. It's time to be, be productive. God didn't save you to look cute. God didn't save you to look handsome. God didn't save you to be a diva. Hallelujah. But God saved you to deliver people through you. God, God, God say your eyes, hallelujah. That's what the Bible talk about, the sheep and the goat. The sheep are those that are doing the work for God and the goat are those that are making noise and ain't doing nothing in the church. Hallelujah. What I'm saying? The sheep and the goat. The goat don't produce nothing. That's what the Bible say. They be cast into outer darkness. They be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Why, preacher? Because they didn't feed me. Hallelujah. They didn't clothe me. They didn't visit me. Hey, glory to and the Bible say, the least they didn't want to be. You have done it unto me. So God curse that fig tree. Ah, Baba. Oh, glory to God. I love you all. But I got to tell you the truth. Amen. God curse. He curse the fig tree. Yes, he did. He cursed it. And guess what? God expect every one of us under the sound of my voice to produce a fruit. Not fruit of the spirit. And some of y'all, I don't see none of those fruits in your, in your life. Some of y'all mean, y'all nasty, y'all out of control. No control. The Bible says if you if the wall is broken down, that, that means that you have no control. Build the wall. The build the wall come with control. So some of y'all, hey, go to God. You say, I don't know my purpose. I don't know my plan. I don't know what God made me for. My friend, the Bible say, all things work together for good to them that love God.